Hello and welcome to Show of the Week. I'm Mike. And I'm Jane. And this week I played Farming Simulator 15. <laughs> it's the best. You know that's not Farming Simulator, right? Then how do you explain the farm, Mike? I had no idea modern agriculture was so centred on torching cows and menacing farmhands and then you fight a griffin. OK, pay attention. Farming Simulator 15 is a serious farming simulator for serious fans of farming. There'll be none of your horseplay, Jane, because horses aren't one of the animals available to buy for your farm. But just because this is an accurate simulation of the modern agricultural business doesn't mean it isn't exciting. There's chainsaws and Lamborghinis. Alright, the chainsaw is for actually chopping down trees, not eviscerating rival farmers, and the Lamborghini is a tractor, not an Aventador, but still, hints of a romantic subplot? Alright, I confess this is a slow-paced strategy game where it takes multiple minutes to combine harvest a field, then further minutes to go and get a trailer and fill it with the grain, then some more minutes to dump it in a silo, but it's soothing and relaxing. All the fun of working the land, none of the getting up at 6am and having to touch a cow's nipples. New for the 2015 season of Farming Simulator is co-op multiplayer, allowing up to six of the six people who bought this game on Xbox One to collaborate on a single farm. So much plaid. Even if you don't have any mates who understand the masochistic pleasure of playing a game that's basically a second job, you can hire zero hours contract AI farmhands to do some of the more repetitive busy work. You can even attempt to follow the combine harvester with your trailer to get the job done more efficiently. It's like the world's slowest car chase. You can make your farming fortune in a number of different ways. There's planting, cultivating and harvesting crops, which is the bread and butter of farming sim. You can also rear animals to sell milk, wool and eggs. Finally, and new to this version, you can embark on a spot of light deforestation, either with your chainsaw or more specialised logging equipment, such as the terrifying sounding Scorpion King. You're damn right this machine can cut down trees. There are also jobs that appear on a notice board that offer a bit of variety, and by variety I mean driving your tractor somewhere slightly different, possibly with a time limit. Earn money, buy more hardware, increase productivity and earn more money to become a farming kingpin, master of all he surveys. Far too powerful to be criticised for insisting on wearing the same pair of dungarees every day. That'll be me! Just as soon as I get this tractor unstuck. Some help here? Yes, I'm really getting into this farming lot, you know, returning to the land, working the earth. Really? You? Yes, Andy, me. It's about a return to a simpler life, free from the frivolous trappings of modern technology. You love the frivolous trappings of modern technology. You only speak in 140 character sentences. This morning, you tried to use the newspaper like a touchscreen. I had to zoom the crossword. Anyway, Andy, I'm at least as much a farmer as you are. Oh yeah? Yeah. We're having a race to determine who's the best farmer. Yes. So where are we racing to, Jane? We're going to go to the telephone box. I assume it's the telephone box in the upper left of the map. <laughs> Check out my, my pipe action. See that? <laughs> I'd rather not. Pretty sweet. <laughs> there we go. Bit of extra weight for Jane. There. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> OK. Three, two, okay. one, go. Oh, OK. Uh, oh, ah, all right, we're going. Coming. Oh, this combine harvest ah. series is terrible. <laughs> oh. Die! I'm attached to Mike's. <laughs> All of you die. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yes! Alright, I'm going this way. Off to Hooray a strong for farming. start. Mike, As the crow flies. Legs. Don't make me use my combine blades. <laughs> Left. Across the fields. Ah, not now, silo information panel. <laughs> Jane, get back here. Jane, I insist you get back uh -oh. here. Uh, I don't think this is a particularly off-road kind of trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the road. Can I get a first-person view up in here? You can, yeah, Any you ideas? click on the right stick. Click right on the right sti stick, Oh Jane. my god. Yeah. So I'm like a real racing driver. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a straight, so what I'm going to do is deploy my secret weapon, which is detaching my trailer. Ha! Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an extra five miles an hour now. Well, I happen to have a secret weapon as well, which is a mine. Oh god. Oh no, I'm what going did you drop in the road there, Mike? Is it a trap? Oh, oh there's a circus. I'm, Is that I'm, a circus? I'm negotiating around Jane's trailer. Oh my god! There's a circus <laughs> tent. I've been distracted right. by the circus. The only option is for me to go cross country. Do you think this is uh, an amphibious oh. tractor? As the crow flies. 
Oh. No. I just rammed my tractor. No. <laughs> I'm going through the river. Do not drive too deeply into the water. Ha! Fine. No, Mike! Mike's nearly there! Mike's yes. nearly at the phone no. booth. Best at, no. that's it. Desperation. Desperation move. Into the river. Uh, <laughs> get oh back no, here. I've, I've sunk my combine harvester in the river. <laughs> no! Well, that was always oh. bound to happen. Maybe I can use my pipe to free myself. No, Mike's parked up. He is victorious. I'm calling the helpline. Don't call the helpline. I've won. I called the helpline. <laughs> Mike is no. King Farmer. No. All hail King Farmer. I think I'm standing on your head. No, wait. You're standing on my head. <laughs> I am now. There we go. Yeah. Are we a terrifying totem pole of farmers stood uh, one on top of the other? Mike's just standing in midair. No. Oh. Uh, oh, no. Sort now he's one. wedged his heel into your face. Let me Can yeah. you on top? Human pyramid of farming yeah. victory. Oh, my yes. God. You're so yes. high up, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Now it's time to see what you've written in the comments and drawn in our crops with a tractor. Mike, stopping a bad winner. First, your comments on last week's show about The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, and the most frivolous uses of magic in games. Give most video game characters some magical power and they're instantly using it to conjure up enchanted underwear and whatnot. Consider the frivolous use of magic by these cosmically powerful well. magic users who definitely need a stern Uncle Ben-style lecture about responsibility. Sand King takes issue with us saying that using godlike powers to magic your underwear off is frivolous, saying, Magic underwear sounds genius! You don't have to wash them, they can be modified with a simple spell to be more useful, and they will always be comfortable. You don't have to wash them already. I'm not having this conversation again. Jedi Horgus, meanwhile, adds that, I appreciate the little noises you guys make when reading comments with emoticons in them. Hmm. Oh, and also new for The Witcher 3 is realistic beard growth, which is a feature I've had for ages and one that Mike is hoping will arrive in a series of patches. Because... beards? Now forget it. On the subject of The Witcher 3 and, by extension, Mike's beard growth, Alex Plowen says, Andy, tell Mike that if his beard feature hasn't been implemented this far into development, then it's unlikely to ever be included. Yes, all right. While Ethan Dodge suggests that the developers didn't have time to complete that section of the map, just copy and pasted the arm hair code to his face. Let's move on, shall we, to your comments on this video about the things we can't resist doing in games. As far as I'm concerned, the whole point of a deep, detailed character creator at the start of an RPG is to make a hero that looks exactly like me. Finally. Ooh, sliders. Lazarou101 says, A video game character that looks like me, finally, says the white guy with brown hair. Yeah, fair point. Giasalo, meanwhile, offers the following. I don't make myself in games always. I made my cat in Skyrim. <laughs> Not many games give you that option, to be fair. Quite a specific one from Dylan F here, who says, Shooting that one guard in Skyrim that says, I used to be an adventurer like you before I took an arrow to the knee. With an arrow to the knee, lol. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. The Imperial Legion will have your blood. Betty regrets telling everyone that now. Finally this week, your comments on our video about the seven things you need to know about Assassin's Creed Victory. Syndicate. Syndicate. Right, we're off to ponder exactly where Jacob hides that top hat when he switches to stealth mode. Rementhus has his own theory about just where Jacob's top hat goes, saying, My theory is that he flattens it, attaches it to his back, and a thin steel lining acts as a sort of bulletproof shield. Only joking, of course it will magically disappear and reappear, as all video game characters are also really good magicians. Julie Arosa, meanwhile, wonders, Why the hell would an assassin kill so many civilians by running them over with a wagon? <laughs> to which Zenic One replies, The creed says, stay your blade from the innocent. Says nothing about wagons. Loophole! Like it. Right, I'm off back to the studio, I'll catch you later. All right. You've got me doing it now. That's it for this week's show. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to claim your weekly dose of good karma by pressing the like button. Limit one like per customer while stocks last. Terms and conditions apply. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Cool. Okay, do you want to go for lunch? I think I'm just going to stick around and read this. The battery life is insane.